Welcome back. Um, this is another tutorial in the DirectX 9 tutorial series. Last tutorial, I believe we finished creating a textured cube class um, where you basically you pass in a string to uh, a position, rotation, scale, and string uh, of the file location um, for the texture, and it'll map that texture to every side of the cube. Um, so, games like Minecraft, for instance, uh, you know, you can create sort of uh, blocked, block, blocky worlds with where you know that the the cube is going to have the same texture for every side. There you go. That's Minecraft, basically. Um, though Minecraft's a little bit more complex, but you know, it's a start. This next topic that we're gonna I'm gonna show you is um, pretty. It's a little bit more advanced. Uh, it has to do with materials and basically normals. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the cube class. Uh, we're going to add we're going to add another vertex type um, called uh, vertex position normal texture, and we're going to add some lighting, some basic lighting. So here we go. Let's open this up. Figure out where we were, where we left off. If I run this, I should see a cube. A nice cube rotating. So, uh, how are we going to do this? Well, let's first go into our utility class and let's create another type of vertex. So, we're going to create the vertex position normal texture. And what this is going to have is, of course, the default constructor. But it's also going to have the position, so x, y, z. It's going to have the uh, a normal x, normal y, and normal z. And of course, it's going to have the uv. So what this is 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 the position. These are the normals, and these are the uh, texture coordinates. So what are these normals? Well, normals are what the graphics device uses to determine how light should hit and interpolate off of um, an object. So when it hits a side of a, of a cube or anything basically, when it hits a triangle, a face, it looks, it needs a, a way of knowing what direction to reflect the light. So these normals are basically perpendicular vectors to the plane. Um, that determine the direction the plane is facing. Uh, so, for the instance of a cube, you know, the front face, it would come out towards us, the back face, go away from us, etc., etc. So, here we go. We're going to create the constructor for this. It's going to be pretty much the same as the other one. Underscore Z. This time it's going to have underscore an X. And Y and Z uh, U and then V. So there we go for that. I'm gonna set X equal to underscore X, Y equal to underscore Y, Z equal to underscore Z and x equal to underscore nx, y equal to underscore ny, and z equal to underscore nz, and then u equal to underscore u, and y equal to underscore y, I mean v equal to underscore v. So there we go. Um, we have our our entire vertex normal type. Um, well, and of course, we can't forget the const D word flexible vertex format. And again, let's go into the main and we're going to set this up. This one is going to be D3D vertex, vertex position normal texture, flexible vertex format. This one is going to have X, Y, Z. It's going to have um, normal 
and finally texture one now keep in mind I don't know if I said this before but I'll say it again if I didn't um, these have to be in the same order in which the actual uh, values were declared see how position goes first then normals then coordinates these need to be go these need, this needs to go position normal and then texture okay so here we go so now that we have that let's go into here and we're here and everywhere we see vertex position texture we're gonna uh, basically I'm just gonna control H control find find vertex position texture and replace with only in the current document vertex position normal texture replace all so there we go but see now it's gonna say that this is messed up because it needs three more things it needs the direction in which this faces now for the front face it's pretty easy that faces us so it should come into the into the uh, the world in like out of the camera into your face so it should be in the negative Z so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this because it's the same for every single one and just paste that in so there we go so the front face is done so now what about the back face back face is the opposite it's away from us into the world we're gonna copy this we're gonna paste this in here for each one of these so now for the left face the left face of course is negative 1.0 in the x direction and 0 for these so it's along the x axis I'm going to copy that paste it in here apparently I forgot the comma so here we go and for right face it's the opposite so 1.0 0.0 0.0 copy paste that in top face straight up it's the same for all these two and for the bottom straight down There we go. So now that we have all our, all our normals, uh, this should still run perfectly fine. Right? Now the only difference is now it has actual normals attached to it. So if we were to um, have lighting be used on this, then, you know, it would work so what I want to do is ha uh, add a addition to here what we want to do is we want to make it so the normals after rotation are still correct so right after we do the we actually set the world I want to set render state d3d rs normalize normals and set that to true so after we do all of our rotations and stuff, I want the render the the graphics device to actually normalize our the normals of our object. Um Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now you have normals. Now the only way for us to really see if this is working correctly is if we add lighting. Now lighting requires that we have a material uh, attached to the object so that defines what happens when we actually get hit by stuff so what I'm gonna do is add another uh, member to here and call it d3d material 9 material and basically we're gonna initialize this here we're gonna set material dot ambient equal to d3d color uh, colors white so the ambient 
Um, oh, of course, this actually needs to be uh, D3D X color, I believe, because it has a D3D color value, and this these we stored as just D3D colors, um, and the only thing that, that actually converts to D3D color value is D3D X color. So diffuse should be D3D X color, D3D colors, white. Material, um, missive should be uh, D3D X color, D3D colors, black. So I wanted to emit black. Um, specular should be D3D X color, D3D colors, uh, white. Now, what specular is, I should probably tell you what these are basically diffuse um, ambient basically doesn't doesn't matter where it doesn't take into account angles so ambient lighting would just basically light up everywhere um, diffuse uh, is essentially the probably the um, like tints um, emissive basically is what is emitted by the object itself, and then specular is uh, takes into account the angle of the camera and where you're viewing. So if the light hits, so it adds like shine basically. So if the light hits from one direction and hits a, a, a face of the object, depending on how you viewed that, it will correctly basically display the the shine. Um, and we're just gonna set the the power to uh, 5.0 and there we go we have our uh, material set up so it's it's a base basic material um, so here we go what we need to do is uh, we need to set that material so right before we draw it right after we set the texture we're just gonna set material with Oops, material. There we go. So I don't know. That should probably work. Uh, now you should see some difference at least. Um, yeah, not really, but um, not until the the light is in there. It doesn't really do much unless the light is actually hitting it. Um. So let's get the light in there. Um. What we need to do is lighting is currently set to false. I want to set that to true. We actually want lighting. What we need to do is create a light 9 uh, object. We need to go set the... Um, we want to set the, uh, the type first. D3D light directional. Um, basically, this is going to be a direct uh, directional light. Um, we want to set its position equal to D3DX vector three. Uh, we're going to make it come from the uh, left, uh, and of course five in. So it's going to be to the right to the left to two units from the actual uh, cube we're gonna set its direction equal to um, basically just the x-axis so 1.0 f 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0 uh, that should probably be that should probably be negative not sure but um, and then what I want to do is set the uh, well, first I want to store a D3DX color value. Um, store white. And set the light dot uh, ambient equal to C times, um, I don't know, 
um, the light dot to fuse equal to C, so it's going to it's going to give out uh, white light, um, and set the specular equal to C times I don't know 0 0.6. And is that all that I want? Um, that's about it. So finally, what we need to do is we need to go. Uh, we need to set light zero and pass in light. And then we want to enable that light. And this should be enough. That should be all we needed. Uh, there we go. So now you have lighting. As you can see, the cube is being lit. Um, the light is coming from this direction at it, so each time it each time it turns in towards it, it lights up a bit. Let me uh, disable the rotation on the uh, y, x, and y, uh, x and z, so you can see it a little bit better. See, so now there's lighting. Um, and there you go. That's uh, basically the power of uh, normals um, and materials. Uh, if I mess, or mess around with that material that we created, um, I could probably do some interesting things. Um, if we set ambient to uh, something strange like uh, blue or purple, I don't know, purple. As you can see, it's a little bit purple. It's giving off a, a purple vibe to it. Um, if we set diffuse to purple, you'd see a little bit even more. It would probably be even more dark because it would be tinted. See how it's basically just tinted purple? Um, so let's set that back to white. And white. And uh, emissive doesn't really necessarily really matter um, if, it emits up, if it emits black. Specular, uh, make that red. I mean, it's specular red. It's kind of difficult to even, even see, but you get the point. Um, so there we go. That's uh, that's lighting, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, more to come soon. Thank you for watching.